الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله as we're discussing in the treaties the meaning of salaf al-salih and what it means to follow the salaf and some of the verses the shaykh mentioned from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding the importance of following the salaf of this ummah and that following part of following Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and part of following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is following the creed and methodology of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah meaning the path and menhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem وَمَنْ يَشَاكِكَ الرَّسُولُ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيْنَ لَهُ هُدَى وَيَأْتَبَعَ غَيْرَ سَبِيلَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّى وَنُسْلِهِ جَهَنَّمْ وَسَاءَتْ مُصِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and whoever contradicts and opposes the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after the right path has been shown clearly to him and follows other than the believers other than the way of the believers we shall keep him in the path he has chosen and burn him in the hellfire what an evil destination so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> the shahid from this verse is that Allah stipulates that contradicting the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam takes a person away from the straight path and that in addition part of that straight path is following the sincere believers and the path of the mu'mineen because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, and whoever follows other than the path of the mu'mineen what is the path of the mu'mineen? It's the menhaj and methodology of the Salaf al Salih. Ridwan Allahi alayhim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَسَابَكُونَ الْأَوَلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اَتَّبَعُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُ وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And the foremost to embrace Islam of the Muhajirun. <clears throat> meaning those who migrated from Mecca to Medina, and the Ansar, the citizens of Medina who helped and gave aid to the Mahajirun, and also those who follow them exactly in faith, those who follow them in Iman. <clears throat> uh, Allah is well pleased with them, as they are well pleased with Him. He has prepared for them gardens underneath which rivers flow, to dwell therein forever, that is the supreme success. So the supreme success, Ahabatullah, comes from following what? The Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, following the Sabila Mu'mineen, following the Minhaj of the Salaf al Salih, Radi Allah Ta'ala Majma'in. And who are the Salaf al Salih? Who is at the Ras Rasihim? It's the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radi Allah Ta'ala Majma'in. And what is the Dalil that it's the Sahaba? How do we know? How do we know that those other groups who, who make takfir of the Sahaba, and those other groups who curse the Sahaba, and those other groups who say that, uh, who belittle the Sahaba, that they're not on the correct path instead of us. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al kareem وَسَابَكُونَ الْأَوَلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْصَارِ Who are the Muhajirin and Ansar? Who are those who migrated from Mecca to Medina? It's the Sahaba, رضي الله تعالى عنهم مجمعين. And who are those who, who accepted them, embraced them, had brotherhood with them, uh, who cooperated in righteousness and piety except the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ajma'in. And that's why we love the Sahaba, even though al Kafirun, even though the disbelievers hated, even though Ahl Bid'ah wa Zandaka hated. The Holy Prophet said, uh, the best of people are those in my time, then those who will come after them, then those who will come after them. Who is that? Sahaba in the time of the Prophet Atabi'un, those who met the Sahaba and, and uh, took ilm from the Sahaba, and 
those who followed the Tab'in or took Elm from the Tab'in and followed them in righteousness. That is who the uh, best of generations, those three generations. The Prophet Sallallahu and his companions, their successors, and those who followed their generation in goodness are the predecessors of this nation. They are the Salaf. Those who invite the people to the religion based on what the Prophet Sallallahu and his companions and their successors were upon are those upon the methodology of the pious predecessors. So following the Sunnah, following the Minhaj of the Salaf is the way of success and it means that those who follow them in later generations follow their Sunnah, their way, their understanding of creed, their understanding uh, uh, and how to give Dawah and how to uh, uh, practice the religion and how to understand the religion. Those who follow them, then they are following the Sabil al-Mu'mineen. They're following the path of the believers. They're following the minhaj of the Salaf, of this Ummah. And may Allah bless us to be from them. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So every person whose words and deeds are in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah will be considered as the follower of the pious predecessors, though he is far away from these persons in respect to place and period. And this is the example we mentioned with Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. And he then, uh, the Shaykh mentions the verse... Uh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Muhammad Rasulullah, waladina ma'ahu ashidda'u ala kuffar, ruhamahu bainahum, tarahum ruka'an, sujjadan, yabtaguna fadlam min Allah, wa ridwana, simahum fi wujuhihim, min athar al-sujood, thalika mithlahum fi tawrati, wa mithlahum fi linjil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the Quran, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those who are with him are severe against the disbelievers and merciful amongst themselves. You see them bowing and falling down prostrate in prayer, seeking bounty from Allah and his good pleasure. The mark of them is on their faces uh, from the traces of prostration. This is their description in the Torah and their description in the Injil, meaning the Gospel. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has linked obedience uh, to his messenger with obedience to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يُعْتِهِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَا الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدَّقِينَ وَالشُهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسَنُ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger, then they will be in the company of those whom Allah has bestowed His grace of the Prophets, the Siddiqeen, uh, and those who are first and foremost to believe in Him. Uh, the martyrs and the righteous. Who from amongst us doesn't want to be in those high status and categories? So we have to be obedient to Allah, and part of that obedient to, uh, obedience to Allah is being obedient to His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So those people who disregard the Sunnah of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or belittle the Sunnah of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or say we don't really know uh, and need to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu or that the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Wasallam is, is inauthentic, or there's doubt within it then those people, you have to call into question their deen and their iman. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fi kitab al-kareem, said, uh, وَمَنْ يُتْعِي اللَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ فَقَدْ فَوْزَ uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يُتْعِي وَمَنْ يُتْعِي اللَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ فَأُولَيْكَ مَا الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِينَ وَالصِدَّقِينَ وَالشُهَدَاءَ إِلَى آخِرَ آيَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised them. And it's praise that path and praise the path of the mu'mineen and that that path is by following and being obedient to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The only way you can be obedient to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is following his sunnah. How do we follow his sunnah? His sunnah is by those authentic narrations uh, upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His, the sunnah qawliya, the meaning the statements that he made, a sun, sunnah fi'liya, the, the actions that he did, a sunnah turqiya, or a sunnah... Uh, of the uh, of the things the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam those things he allowed sallallahu alaihi wasallam taqririya you know those the sunnah those things that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he allowed and uh, you know and also the the example of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he exemplified in his manners and his and so forth so all of that makes up the sunnah of the Prophet 
sallallahu alayhi wasallam and were ordered to follow it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and Allah has made obedience, uh, the, the shaykh said, Allah has made obedience to his prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, obedience to him. He subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَن يُعْتَيَ رَسُولَ فَقَدَ طَاعَ اللَّهِ وَمَن تَوَلَّ فَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ عَلَيْهِمْ حَفِيظًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He who obeys the messenger has indeed obeyed Allah, but he who turns away, then we have sent you as a watcher over them. And he, Jalla Jalala, has informed clearly that all the good deeds of men are wasted without obedience to his beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this is an encouragement to myself and my brothers and sisters that we have to follow the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to remind ourselves because we do forget. We It's not that we outright forget the Sunnah, but we become weak in Iman. We get distracted by the dunya and those things, they deter us from following the Sunnah and may Allah grant us success with coming closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and being more obedient to him and obedient to the Messenger by following his Sunnah Salawat Rabbi wa Salamu Alayhi. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has informed clearly that all good deeds of men are wasted. Or this is uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Ya Yaladina Amanu Atiullah wa Atiu Rasula Wala Tubtilu Amalakum. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the Messenger, and render not your your uh, deeds vain. So do not destroy your, your deeds by what? Disobeying the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, finding new sunnas. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has addressed the Ahl Iman. This is you and I, Ahl Iman. Because non-Muslims, of course, they're not going to follow the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some, they don't even know about him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they have uh, wicked misconceptions and misconceptions through the media and through what is propagated around the world and because of the acts of certain Muslims and some Muslims who mislead people about Islam. So they don't know the Prophet وسلم. They don't know to follow him. They don't know even about him. وسلم. But Allah has addressed the believers. Ya amanu wa O you who believe follow, uh, obey Allah and obey the messenger. In the following uh, statement, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden us from opposing the orders of his beloved messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and whosoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, and transgresses his limits. He will cast him into the fire to abide the disgraceful torment. May Allah protect us from the hellfire. May Allah protect us from going beyond his hadood. Wallahu musta'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to do whatever is ordered by his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and abandon every action which is forbidden by him. Uh, so he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, says, وَمَا أَتَاكُمْ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَاهَكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدُ الْعِقَابِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, And whatever the messenger gives you, take it. And whatever he forbids you, abstain from it. And fear Allah, verily Allah is severe in punishment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to accept the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as our judge and should always return to his order in all of our matters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, But know by your Lord they can have no faith until they make you, O Muhammad, judge in all disputes between them and find in themselves no resistance against your decisions and accept them with full submission. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed us that his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the best example to be followed. He is the ideal role model. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَكَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْنَ الْآخِرِ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهُ كَثِيرًا Indeed, in the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you have a good example to follow. For him who hopes for meeting Allah in the last day and remembers Allah much. So here, those sifat of the mu'mineen, is that they follow the example of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they hope to meet Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and they remember Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala often dhikr, kathra to dhikr and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala forgive us of our many shortcomings and how much time we waste in this dunya by not remembering Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and following the way uh, uh, of, of those other 
than Ahl Islam and Ahl Iman. Allah has also equated his pleasure with that of his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Azza wa Jal, Wallahu wa Rasuluhu ahakku an yarduhu in kanu mu'mineen. But it is more befitting that they should please Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if they are believers. So following what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loved and what he called us to is seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has made obedience to his beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in an indication of, uh, uh, of his love. So he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, says, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبَكُمُ اللَّهِ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبُكُمُ اللَّهُ هُفُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Say, O Muhammad, to mankind, if you really love Allah, then follow me. Allah will love you and forgive you of your sins, and Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. So this here, in fact, is an, an address to mankind. This is the Prophet ﷺ was ordered to, to give this, uh, this message to uh, the Quraysh, the pagans, that or, uh, uh, um, inviting everyone, saying to them, if you truly love Allah, if you truly love God in the way that they understand, or, you know, by the name, by saying God in, in the English, then follow the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Show that you love Allah, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And Allah will forgive you by, when you embrace Islam, He'll forgive you of all your sins. And Allah is the all-forgiving, the most merciful. So, following the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, grants a person forgiveness and the mercy of of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's a way that they show their love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us to follow the sunnah. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. And this is why during the period of the pious predecessors, the first and last source of reference during disputes was the Quran and the sunnah. And this is what we neglect to do in this day and age. We have so much hawa that goes around and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. Ameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَإِن تَنَزَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرَدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَلِيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ وَأَحْسَنُ تَأْوِيلًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And if you differ in anything amongst yourselves, refer it to Allah and His Messenger. If you believe in Allah and in the last day, that is better and more suitable for final determination. The best of the predecessors after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa were his companions. Who embraced the religion from him truly and sincerely. And Allah Azza wa Jalla has described them in his book, Min al Mu'minin Rijalun Sadaku Ma Ahadu Ma Ahadu Allah Ali. For men whom men qada nah nuhabbuhum, wa men whom men yuntether, a yuntether, wa ma beddalu tabdila. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, among the believers are men who have been true to their covenant with Allah. Meaning they went out in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and showed not their backs. Of them, some have fulfilled their obligations. Meaning they have been martyred and some of them are still waiting. But they have never proved treacherous to their covenant, which they concluded with Allah in the least. So they're faithful to Iman and faithful to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us to be of those people who are faithful and truthful. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. The best of persons after the companions were those that follow them, the first three blessed periods about whom the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and we mentioned the hadith, khayran nas qarani thumma ladhini yilunun, thumma ladhini yilunun. The best of the people are my, those in my time, then those who come after them, then those who come after them. So this is in order for us to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and follow the way of the Sabila Mu'mineen, the Salaf al-Salih and not to follow the way of other nations. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said man kana qablukum The Prophet Sallallahu said you will follow the nations that came before you hand span by hand span Arms span, arms span by arms span until they entered the hole of a lizard. You would follow it. And they said, Who are they? Uh, is it the Jews and the Christians? O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who else? Said, Who else? And the Jahr, as uh, I've explained on more than one occasion, the hole of the lizard.